Welcome to the Wrestling Source, the exclusive YouTube show of WrestlingNewsSource.com. My name's David, and I'll be here each week as we take a closer look at current events in the world of professional wrestling. This week, what's next for The Miz? Will there be a surprise at this year's Royal Rumble? And my holiday wish list for pro wrestling. Let's get started. Well, as we reported last week, we finally saw The Miz cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase, and he's now the WWE Champion. So the next question logically is, who are his opponents? Um, it's more important to look at this from a, from a heel face perspective, since Miz is technically still playing a heel character. And the, uh, the, the primary um, source in the beginning for, for looking for uh, opponents for him are going to be on the face side. Uh, I think that, uh, as, I, as I mentioned in our special report, that John Morrison is, is an obvious choice. Um, he's really stepped up his game as of late in his feud with Sheamus. Uh, he's got history with The Miz. Uh, it could be an opportunity for John Morrison to, uh, to pick up the mantle and, and go after The Miz and his, and his world title and hopefully get a run for himself. Um, I'd really like to see some, some shakeups in the, in the top tier there in the, uh, in the heavyweight title picture. Uh, let's not count out the folks from, from Nexus. Let's see Wade Barrett get involved. Let's see David Otonga get involved and, uh, and snatch the title away from, uh, from The Miz and really piss off Wade Barrett uh, and set up some, some interesting angles with them and with the rest of Nexus. Uh, let's create some division in the, in the team, if you will, and see, and see where that goes. Um, this is going to be uh, very interesting to watch over the next couple of weeks and months, especially leading into uh, the Royal Rumble where an opponent could be decided for The Miz. Now, in the past two years in the Royal Rumble, we've seen surprise entrants come in. Uh, two years ago with John Cena coming back early from his uh, rehabilitation, uh, from his injury, and last year with Edge returning to win, the, to win the Rumble. Now, can the WWE really get away with that again this year? Well, the only obvious choice for uh, a return from injury angle would be Triple H. And all the reports that we've seen thus far have indicated that uh, he's not ready for a return yet at this point. So it may not be Triple H. The surprise we may see at the Royal Rumble is the general manager finally revealing himself. Uh, not as a competitor necessarily, but, uh, but just setting things up for, uh, for the match itself, which could be uh, qualify as a surprise uh, from the WWE's history with this event if they plan on keeping this up, where the Royal Rumble becomes a, uh, a surprise-laden uh, event. Uh, if you will. Uh, could we see potentially them shift the general manager focus to John Cena? Has he been the surprise general manager all along? And has he been pulling the strings internally uh, for himself and for Nexus, getting himself fired so that he can now take over the helm as general manager for now? That might be an interesting way to go. Uh, but I am still holding out for my, uh, for my original choice, which was Kevin Nash, uh, to come on in and, and take over that general manager spot and really shake things up for World Wrestling Entertainment. Uh, what are your thoughts on The Miz's next opponents? Uh, should we see the old faces again with John Cena and Randy Orton continuing to compete for that belt? Should we change things up on top, introduce some new names like John Morrison? Who else should be competing for the title at this point? And do you guys see a surprise coming at Royal Rumble? We want to hear from you. We want to know what your thoughts on these events are. Uh, as always, you can leave your comments here on the YouTube screen. You can find us on the internet at WrestlingNewsSource.com. Find us on Twitter at WrestlingNewsHQ or on Facebook at Wrestling News. We look forward to hearing from you. Well, the holiday season is upon us again, and that led me to thinking about a wish list for professional wrestling for 2011. Uh, top of my list for, for wrestling next year is some good competition for the WWE. Uh, this has been kind of a recurring theme for me in, in my recent uh, final thoughts and in recent videos. Um, it's just not the same as it was in, in the late 90s uh, when there was stiff competition between the WWE and WCW and for to a certain extent ECW when they were still a good strong independent federation. Uh, I think the, uh, the product is getting a little watered down. I think we're, we're seeing um, not enough uh, trying on the part of the WWE, trying to hold our attention, trying to keep us uh, motivated to watch. Um, you know, giving away pay-per-view matches for free, pay-per-view level matches for free on Monday nights, not really doing anything to shake up the pay-per-view picture other than, you know, renaming them and giving them themes, which is a nice idea and it's good to save special matches for pay-per-views, but let's really make them stand out from, uh, from other programming. Um, and I think the only way to really do that is to have a good second party come in and provide some good, strong competition for uh, for the WWE again. TNA can do it, but they're resting on the laurels of Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff, who are trying the same old thing again. 
They've got young, strong talent in there with Jeff Hardy. Uh, they've got a good, strong um, knockouts division or divas division uh, that can run head to head and neck and neck with um, with the WWE. They've got great stuff that they can do. I just I'd really like to see them do it. Uh, let's see Ring of Honor step it up and and bring their now you know syndicated television program more to the mainstream and more to the forefront. Let's see some exciting competition between these uh, these rival organizations and really step the product back up again to where it was uh, almost 15 years ago now. Um, I would also like to see a resolution to the general manager angle on Raw. That's also up there on top for me for for uh, for a wish for professional wrestling. It's time to bring that full circle and bring some closure to things and really make things stand out better uh, for the wrestlers and not leave this sort of overarching angle that's been around for far too long over our heads. Uh, it's time for some new things and it's time for some uh, some changes. Um, I'd also really like to see a year where we keep some scandals and some political views out of the spotlight. I think that kind of overshadowed things to the WWE toward the end of the year with um, Linda running for office and uh, keeping her name out there and making things kind of hard for the WWE from a product perspective, uh, knowing that they were going to be under such scrutiny. Um, like the steroid trials of the 80s and the, uh, the, the censorship issues of the 90s and the deaths that sort of overshadowed the industry in, in the early part of this decade. Uh, I'd like to see a new decade get started uh, with no scandal, uh, no treachery, no uh, outside external forces coming in and, and messing with the product. Uh, I think uh, we've deserved it. We've earned it. Uh, we need to see just a good, strong, solid year again for professional wrestling. Uh, do you have any wishes for uh, for the new year for professional wrestling? Let me know what they are. Find us on our normal sources, and you can leave your comments here on the YouTube screen. I want to know what your wishes are for uh, for professional wrestling for the year 2011. This is a pretty big week for the WWE. It marks the return of the King of the Ring tournament after uh, some hiatus. Um, it's never going to be the pay-per-view level thing we're used to seeing again, I don't think. I think it's always going to be a special three-hour Raw from here on out. And it really is better off that way. You know, can do it in a one-night tournament and really help set up the December pay-per-view, which is tables, ladders, and chairs. Uh, the matches for uh, King of the Ring have yet to be announced, but uh, I want to know what your thoughts are on who you think King of the Ring should be. And by this time next week, what are your thoughts on who the King of the Ring is? Um, as always, you can leave your comments here on the YouTube screen. You can find us on the internet at WrestlingNewsSource.com, on Twitter at WrestlingNewsHQ, and on Facebook at Wrestling News. Once again, my name's David for The Wrestling Source, the exclusive YouTube show of WrestlingNewsSource.com. See you next week.